In the city of St. Pete, short term rentals are pretty heavily restricted, but not so heavily enforced. Rentals must be for a minimum of 30 days, and if it's less time than that, they can only be rented out three times in a 365 day span. For many of the vacation rentals listed online, they aren't legal. Yeah, so I found that a lot of them have like the front of the house on the listing, so then it's pretty easy, just like reverse Google searching it. So it's just like looking up like the area it's in and then like seeing what has sold recently. Marley Price has reported upwards of 100 potentially illegal short term rentals in the past two months. So I've done 108 so far and I think almost 90 now have been uh, have had the violation. 88 violations to be exact, according to city records. And as expected, not everyone is a fan of her work. It's mostly just landlords telling me how they were, um, how they should be able to do it, which I didn't write the codes or anything or make the zoning map, so I can't do anything about that. The city of St. Pete says the code is enforced when complaints are made. Price doesn't think that's enough. Yeah, there's so much like I can't do anything about like, but this is one thing that I can do. And it's also like not hard and it doesn't take me long. So I might as well, I might as well do it. Price says she does this to create more housing options locally instead of vacation homes sitting empty. It shouldn't be up to individuals to make the regulations happen that are existing. Now she's asking the city of St. Pete to create a position to investigate illegal short term rental listings. The city of St. Pete tells me they receive code compliance complaints all the time, but never to the scope of what Marley Price sends in. In St. Pete, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.